I would always say these things. Many of the celebrities, we think they are living the lavish lifestyles. We think they are the ones at the top and we are not living our lives. Are just like me and you. There's just the aspect of popularity which brings attention to them. And it makes us feel like we are not living our lives. And I've also said it. Social media can be very deceiving. Social media can get a lot of people into depression. And look at what is happening to AKA. He is actually broke. Oh, sorry. He was actually very broke. Now, AKS landlord has asked his family to remove all the furniture and it's getting very dirty because his house has also been placed in the market and in this video we'll be explaining everything you need to know. If you're new to this channel, if I tell you are passing by for the first time here, you're welcome to Afro Black Gossip. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for your love and support. Despite AKS public display of luxury, vehicles, and claim of ownership by some people, many people thought he owned all the places he had been putting out on the media. It has been revealed that he was renting the house in Bryanston for 40,000 rands a month. This article claims to clarify misconceptions surrounding the ownership of the property and shed light on the recent developments surrounding AKA. AKA's landlord, Mekwa terminated the lease agreement following the rapper's untimely passing. This termination puts to rest any claims that AKA owned the property he flaunted on television during his popular show called The Bride Show with AKA. The house was valued at approximately 4 million rands, was not owned by AKA but was a rental property according to the source. Despite the perception created by AKA's lavish lifestyle, he was paying monthly rent for this house. AKA's close ally, who preferred to remain Anonymous confirmed that Mekau terminated the lease agreement and instructed AKS family to collect his belongings. This left a lot of South Africans in shock. The ally further revealed that the belongings were stored securely despite allegations that AKA had paid his rent in advance on the September of this year. A new tenant had already occupied the apartment since April, according to the neighbor. The neighbor disclosed that AKS unit had been empty after his passing and subsequently the property was then occupied by a new tenant, an ordinary individual, not a celebrity. The recent removal of AKS household furniture from his rented house in Bryston has dispelled misconceptions surrounding the ownership of that property. Despite AKS public image and the fleet of luxury vehicles he possessed, it is now evident that he was renting the house for a monthly fee. The termination of the lease agreement by the landlords and subsequent occupation by new tenant clarify the situation. It is essential to separate the concession of reality and what happens on the media. Also accurately understanding the circumstances surrounding AKS living arrangements to avoid any misunderstanding in future. Yes, as I said it, that is the info and you definitely see that Many of these celebrities are actually living like me and you. Some of us are actually living in our homes, but maybe we feel it's not that big, it's not that beautiful enough. But you see, these celebrities actually do this for the media, they do this for attention, and sometimes they do it because they actually want to live up to that lifestyle. But that is it. No one ever thought this house did not belong to AKA. Not myself, and I guess you watching this video should be probably shocked that he has been paying rent all this while, but he couldn't get a house by himself. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching this video until the very last end. If there's one lesson I've learned from this, is that do not believe what people see on the social media. Do not actually pull all your head and mind into it because it might lead you to a point where you can't imagine it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.